This is WCPO 9 News. Thanks for joining us for WCPO 9 News. I'm Brett Bogansky. There are hundreds of unsolved homicides in the Cincinnati. Dear Lord Jesus, we come to you today. On the sixth anniversary of Ronald thing. Rousseau's murder, his family and friends prayed for justice and peace. Mothers, fathers, sisters, brothers, everybody's losing their loved ones. They came to the 2700 block of McKinley in Cincinnati's Westwood neighborhood. Police say this is where someone shot and killed the 37 year old father of three. And I just uh, can't understand why come I can't get any justice for my son. Rousseau's mother, Toinette, praise the community will help police solve the case. They could help me by letting me know who did this to my son. The loved ones of other murder victims came here too to support the Rousseau family. Margaret Daniels' grandson Marcus was killed 11 years ago. His case is still unsolved. Peggy Harris's son John was killed in 2007. It took 13 and a half years to file charges in his case. Two men were convicted and sentenced to prison. So we asking anybody with any information to please come forward. It doesn't matter how small it is, it might be just what they need to solve it. After their plea for information on the case. One, One two, two, three. We missed it. Go. The Russo family released balloons for Ronald, nicknamed Ski Ron. It feels good, it feels good. Ski Ron, my baby. Get all that. And then, quietly, Peggy Harris took flyers with the faces and names of unsolved murder victims, including Ronald Rousseau, and put them in mailboxes on the street where someone killed him. Because there are hundreds of people on here that uh, need answers, their families need answers. So, you know, this is what we have to do. <laughs> If you have more information about the killing of Ronald Rousseau, his family is asking that you call Crime Stoppers. You can learn more about this case and other unsolved homicides in the Cincinnati area by going to WCPO.com. Craig Cheatham, WCPO 9 News.